What's up, everybody? Ben Rez here for Out Shop Ryan back. Day two of the tournament. I mean, 16 more games to break down. Yes, there's going to be drama. Yes, there's probably going to be more upsets. No, I hope there's not more bad calls. Uh, looking at you refs. But we'll talk about all everything we saw yesterday, how we did, and what's going on here at Out Shop. I want to welcome everyone in. Whether you're here every day or you're checking out the channel, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure this is the channel for you. I really believe it is. We have so much content. Uh, really can help you on your betting journey. And we hope you're part of the team. Yesterday, good day. Couldn't get the parlay, though. Two of three. Uh, Samford battled. They took an awful bad call late in that game. Oregon was awesome. Drake melted. It was there. Gave it a run. That's all you can ask for. We're going to do it again today. That's what we're here to do. I'm going to give you three picks. We're going to spin them together. Try to cash a plus money ticket. I know it's not easy, but you can do it. Let's dive into these plays. Now, we looked at the board. This is the odd screen on Odd Shopper. You've got some options here. First game for me, 310, New Mexico and Clemson, 315. There you go. Apologies for people that have already seen my best bet video. It's the same bet. I like New Mexico a lot. The spread's moving around. Two at minus 112 is definitely in range for me. Maybe there's going to be some buyback on Clemson. We'll see. 26 and 9, Mountain West champs for New Mexico. House and Mashburn, a 1 2 combo that is worth watching. They play fast, they play physical, they're strong defensively. This team is dangerous. 81 and a half points per game, 33% from three. They're not a good shooting team. They don't take a lot, though. I like that. Okay, that's not our strength. Let's not get crazy. They don't take a lot of threes. They don't make a lot of threes. What do they do? They take a lot of free throws. They make a lot of free throws. They're good on the glass, and they don't turn it over relative to their tempo. That's what I'm talking about. You get a lot of shot volume like that. You don't need to be deadly from behind the arc. That's a bonus. Uh, this is a team playing really good basketball. A lot of ways to beat you. They're going to be a tough out, and they are the favorite, even as, as the 11 seed. Clemson's 21 and 11, a good offense, slower tempo. Lost two straight heading into the tournament, 77 points per game, 35% from three. P.J. Hall's their best player. He's on the interior, but he's going to have his hands full against the New Mexico Bigs. And it's nothing really against Clemson. I think they're a fine team. I like New Mexico. I think they're extremely dangerous. You've got House and Mashburn. And, and it's not just a two-man team. It's a deep team, but those two kind of stick out. And when they're healthy... This is a team that can make a deep run. A 151.5 point total, I think that helps New Mexico. They want to play fast, get up and down, get moving. I think they'll be successful in doing that. I'll call for the Lobos. First bet on the board for us here. Now, we got to put two more on the board. I do want to mention again, if you're looking for tools, Odd Chopper, not just odd screens, but all the data, all these tools, Parlay Builders, Market-Based Approach, Live Odd Screens, Data Hubs, it's all here for you. Not to mention, you also get, uh, and can't be discounted, it's a good time every time, the picks in the Discord. It's all under one roof. It's all under one package. If you want to see these things, even if it's just for the week and you say there's so many games today and tomorrow and Sunday, and I get part of next week as well, 20% off, use the code, my last name, link is below. Come on in and join us. I really believe you'll be staying for quite a while. You got to find a second pick on the board. We talked about New Mexico. Now, we're going to a tough game here. There's no doubt about it. A coin flip game. I've gone back and forth on this game. Give me Nebraska. Minus one at minus 108. So you've got two teams here, again, that were not fortunate to make the tournament. Texas A&M, I guess you could say that. Uh, and Nebraska's a team that they're talented team. I like them. They definitely uh, are going to have to outscore you. There's no doubt about that. They're 23-10 and 10 on the year. They We'll play fast. It's not like a crazy pace, but this is a team that definitely knows uh, what they're doing. They're battle tested in the Big Ten, a 147 and a half, not and a half, a 147 point total, slightly juiced to the over. Uh, and this Cornhuskers team is not going to be an easy out for anyone. Again, they have played a tough schedule. Not to say that Texas A&M has not, but I, I like what this team is doing. They can score and they're not as bad defensively as even I thought. When you look at Nebraska, you're talking about a team 77 and a half points per game, 36% from three. Tomanaga could be a superstar in this tournament, 15 a game. But they've got a pretty deep rotation. They've got some bigs that can cause some problems. And as good as Texas A&M is in some areas, and they are good, and they have some really impressive wins. They're 20 and 14, but they're still in the tournament. They are, at times, horrendously bad from the field. This is a team that averages 75 points per game. They shoot 28%. From the field, uh, Wade Taylor is fantastic. There's no doubt about it. He is a problem, but Texas A&M lives on the glass. 
they cannot shoot at all. And I do worry uh, that it's just so bad that they're not able to overcome it. It is a tough existence to play like that. They're aggressive. They can do a lot of damage on the glass. There's no doubt about it. But it's hard when your your strategy is to shoot, miss, get the rebound, shoot, and then make it. Uh, I'd rather just make it at the beginning. That's what Nebraska does. So AM, we know that you've seen the metrics, like one of the worst shooting teams in the tournament. That's just how they are. You know, if they get any three point production, it's a bonus, but I'm not, I wouldn't bank on that. I think this Nebraska team's a little undervalued. They're a dynamic team, they're balanced. Uh, they won't be phased by really anything that Texas AM throws at them. I like Nebraska to survive and advance here. You're one point favorite at minus 108. The Cornhuskers, the second team of our parlay here. So we got to find one more because we've got New Mexico. We've got Nebraska. This is not the third leg of the parlay. I wish it was, but it's bet 365 doing some work. Five into 150 if you are betting some parlays. If you want a little extra cash, go to bet 365. The link is below. Bet five bucks. Win or lose, you're getting 150 in bonus bets. It's that simple. 21 plus 18 in Kentucky, but you also have to be in one of these states. Here we go. Arizona, Indiana, Iowa, North North Carolina, New Jersey, Colorado, Louisiana, Ohio, Virginia, and Kentucky. I said your state, follow those instructions. If I didn't, we'll get to the next game and we'll move on. Here we go. Let's do it. Scrolling, scrolling, and scrolling, but not really. Um, I don't do this often, but I am going to do it. I'm going to lay these points. Now, I want to be clear. A couple things here. I have this game in our Discord. It's not, this is not why, this is why you should join Discord. I'm not just saying this uh, to say it. It's important. I like to, the transparency is important to me. I have a Houston ticket at 22, minus 22, but I still like it at 23 and a half, even at minus 112. This is about the last number I would get to, though. Uh, It's such a weird situation. It's a 127 and a half point total, and we're laying. 23 and a half points. Wow. Wow. But you know what? When you dig into these teams, I think it's more than justifiable. And I actually think that Houston uh, is uniquely suited in some ways to just destroy everybody. Not in this tournament, but right here. 30 and four on the year, and they just got humiliated. They lost by 28 points to Iowa State. Early in the year, they absolutely dismantled inferior competition. This is not a deep team. Uh, it's Houston. They just absolutely maul you defensively. 73 points per game, 35% from three. Uh, Cryer and Chet in the backcourt, Sharp as well. We'll see what's up with Roberts and his health. None of that matters for this game. It will matter for their deep run. Uh, this is all about, honestly, what exactly is Longwood going to do? Longwood's 21 and 13. They weren't even supposed to get here. They had a nice run. They beat High Point and UNC Asheville. I, I looked at their schedule. I mean, they played Dayton. Uh, they played St. Bonaventure. That's about it. They've seen nothing even remotely like this at all. 34% from three, 75 points per game. None of this matters. Houston, it's just going to dominate them in every facet. We know that. This is why they're 23 and a half point favorite. The question is not that. It's can they win by 24 or more? But the way Houston plays... It's very repetitive. It's super aggressive defense, hard nose rebounding. Do not let the opponent score. Tempo is obviously the biggest problem in a game like this. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Houston plays very, very slow. Longwood does not play overly quick. And so there's just not going to be that many possessions. And when you don't have that many possessions, a couple outlier possessions, and we're in trouble. But Houston's already played these type of games all year early, and they won by, you know, they beat Louisiana Monroe 84 to 31. They beat Texas A&M Corpus Christi 82 to 50. They beat Stenson by 31. I mean, they've done this to teams all year, 79-44 over Montana, 75 to 39 over Rice, 89 to 55 over Jackson State. All the teams I just listed, they're in the ballpark with a team like Longwood. Again, it's a rarity. It's disgusting. It's the third leg of the parlay. Houston minus 23 and a half. I think they win gigantically. And I think of all the one seeds, uh, they're very live to have the largest margin of victory. Just an absolute demolition today. Here we go. Let's round it out. Let's review this uh, New Mexico spread is bouncing all over the place. But to recap what we got going on here, we've got New Mexico. We've got Nebraska. We've got the Houston Cougars. 
you put them all together. You get nearly six to one plus five ninety. Let's put it on the board. If you have any questions at all, friends, I appreciate everyone tuning in the support. Hit me up on Twitter at JazzRazDFS, and I'll see you in Discord as well. Odd Chopper is here. We want you as part of the team. Best time of the year for it. I cannot wait to see these games. We saw so much drama yesterday, and we're just getting started. But I'm going to bounce on out of here again for the Lobos, for the Cornhuskers, the Houston Cougars. Good luck. Enjoy all the games today. Let's cash some tickets. We'll do it again tomorrow.